Play City family, welcome back home. We're in home sweet home Chicago. We got the one and only Arthur T. Almacy back in the house. I'm back. And uh, it's Taco Tuesday, so we're going to rile up the troops, hang out with the Flav City family. Jodell Field just threw a $50 holler out there asking what else she can use besides kale. Jodell, I love kale, but I understand if you don't love it, for the slaw, which is going to be basically equal parts red cabbage and kale, sub it out with mustard greens, Swiss chard. Leave it out and do half green and half red cabbage. Either one's fine, but thank you for that, Jodell. You're very, very kind. Um, so we're going to make salmon tacos with the best-in-class farmed salmon from Norway. If you're going to eat farmed salmon, Moe does it right. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, we're going to make a red cabbage and uh, kale crunch slaw with a creamy lime dressing. I'm going to make with you refried black beans for the first time. I've never made it in my life. Normally, I wouldn't use canned beans, but I didn't prep ahead of time. Shocker, I didn't prepare. Um, but you guys have to guide me through. Any of my friends uh, from Latin America, Mexico, you have to talk me through a good recipe on how to cook refried beans. And we're going to have some fixins here, like cashew queso. I got the uh, almond flour tortillas from 365. I never got them. I always talk about it with you guys. I'm going to see if those are good. And um, we're going to make a little bit of guacamole too. And we're going to cook the refried beans in pasture-raised rendered pork fat. Oh, yeah, babe. So Rumor has it that rules. Um, pork fat does rule. I have heard that from the one and only Emerald Lagasse. So welcome. We're back in Chicago. It's a beautiful day here on Tuesday. Just got back from the gym. Art's in the house. Uh, you know the drill. Leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Alma C. Greetings, everybody. Good to be back with y'all. Chris Kennedy's here from Appleton, Wisconsin. Do you know uh, Dirk in Appleton, Chris? I didn't yeah, know I wonder how small world it is. Richard Marcotte, as predicted, is excited about the Dodgers game tonight. Plus, it's in the Metroplex, and he's in Ooh, the Metroplex. that's so. right. Uh, I was just talking about yeah, that, too. Uh, San Diego's here. New York City's in the house. Um, Florida's in the house. Rose is sleeping. Kara's chilling. Desi's working. Um, and that's what's going on today. So we're going to make salmon tacos. Something you don't normally do, but it works really well when you have very farty, uh, very farty, <laughs> very farty salmon, very fatty farm-raised salmon. Are you predicting something tonight, Bobby? <laughs> hey, maybe later on that it could it could cause that. I don't know. Um, but I've worked with this before. Check this out, Art. This is Moe farm-raised salmon. If you're going to eat farm-raised salmon, you got to get the best out there. This is it. So this is the different cuts they have here. These are really cool because it has a lot of surface area on here. These are small little um, fillets here, but look what they also sent over. This is cool because it's salmon on a cedar plank. So you can grill that or even put it in the oven and get that nice cedar flavor in there. If you're gonna eat farm-raised salmon, you have to get good, good quality farm-raised salmon. The problem is there's a lot of crappy farm-raised salmon out there. An example of crappy farm-raised salmon would be pens in the ocean that are overcrowded. They use bad quality feed. They can feed the uh, fish their own poop and animal byproducts. Really bad stuff. Moe does it in pristine waters in Norway. They use none of that animal byproduct, no GMOs, no crud. It's all high quality stuff. And the thing is, wild caught is good too, but the demand for salmon is actually so great that we couldn't live off of wild caught alone. So the key is buying sustainable, high quality um, farm-raised salmon, and I've talked about them in the past. It's great. You can get it on Amazon Fresh. The link is right below the video. It's so high in omega-3s because it's much fattier than normal farm-raised salmon, and the omega-3s are exactly why you want to eat the salmon, and it's very hard to overcook, whereas sockeye salmon could uh, be very lean and overcook easily. So try that out. We're going to make that into the salmon, and that's what's rocking and rolling. So let's spice crust or marinate the salmon now, and then make all our side dishes and all of my uh, refried bean experts out there mount up because we need you to uh, make this recipe. I'm going to talk you through it in a second. Char Troyer is in the house with a 1999 super chat and Char. a pleasant hello, everyone. Thank you, From Char. Michigan, Michigan. Char is like one of the OGest Flav City fans. We love her and her dog, Pepper, and all that good stuff. Gonna have a little collagen water right now. Let's spice crust the salmon in like somewhat of a taco seasoning. So I'll come over here, I'll get smoked paps. I'll get ancho chili powder, and I'll tell you what, I'll get turmeric. These three spices are gonna add so much sabor. Turmeric is kind of earthy and peppery. Smoked paprika is as smoky, very smoky. Ancho chili powder is spicy, but also fruity. 
It's really, really nice. Arthur, what's the fresh version of an ancho chili powder? Uh, ancho chili. The fresco. I'm drawing a blank right now. So I want to fill in art. What's the fresh version of ancho? Peppers are very, very I'm going to say pasilla, but uh, I'm thinking more poblano. Bing, 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 poblano. Thank you. I know a lot of people got that too. Do I buy organic spices? Yes, when I can, especially with stuff like paprika because it comes from bell peppers. Other stuff like turmeric, not necessarily important because it's a rhizome uh, that lives in the ground and isn't on like the dirty dozen list. But good question. And same thing with ancho chili because it comes from a chili pepper. Uh, let's open up this beautiful salmon here. Hello to everybody who is chiming in and I didn't acknowledge your hellos while Bobby is talking, but good to be here with y'all. Yes. Yeah, when are you making the Wagyu steak from Costco? Great question. Asks Lenny. Well, you should Marie. ask Art because he set a reminder on his phone for me to take it out of our freezer. When, when's that happening, Art? Thursday. Thursday. To uh, cook on Friday. To cook on Friday. Set your, your calendarios for Friday at 4 o'clock. It's Fridays with Flakes, sponsored by Thrive Market. We're going to make the Japanese A5 Wagyu steaks that I got at Costco for $99 a pound. It's going to be insane in the old membrane. Yeah, Matthew Dazelski says, R.I.P. E.V.H. Sad stuff in the guitar world today. Oh, yeah. Art just told me about that. Eddie Van Halen. Rest in peace. Okay. So check out this cut here again, Art. This is like a, I think they call it escalape, but it's across the fish. But look at that marbling. This is why sometimes farm-raised salmon is better for recipes because it won't overcook the way that um, sockeye and coho, that's the other one. Those two, listen, wild caught's great, but those two in particular, wild caught salmons, coho and sockeye are very lean. When I cook with those, I like to mince them up into salmon cakes. Otherwise, it's almost impossible to cook them so they're juicy unless you do what I do and butter baste them and put them in a 300 degree oven. These are great because it's very hard to overcook. And um, I have a recipe in the upcoming five ingredient cookbook for uh, salmon cakes with homemade sweet chili sauce. And I tell you guys, that's one of the recipes where you really want to use the fatty farm raised salmon because it's so juicy and all that fat actually adds, adds like a binder. So you don't have to add any eggs or uh, mayonnaise or anything to it. The fat actually just like almost congeals itself. It's pretty lovely. Somebody just called you Bobby Flav. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> You can call me what uh, Desi calls me now, because I call her Ma Morsh, because Rose's nickname is Morsh, so she calls me Baboon. So that works too. Either one, I'm cool with. You also call her uh, DJ Desi D. Slav Live in the BG. We sure do that. We sure do that. Thank you, Indian men only. All right. I think, I think that's enough for all of us. So with this, us four, Rose is going to have a snack as soon as she gets up. I think this should, should be enough. Eh, scale it up. What the heck? Buffet? What's that? Scale it up. Another one? Let's do yeah, another. If you're, why not? If Let's you're concerned, another. when in doubt. When in doubt. Let's do it, Art. Why not? Bring it out. Salmon for everyone. More anything? More everything. More everything. Man, how about those calls for Art last week after the live stream in Boca? Man, you guys were rough. I didn't bring any of my audio gear down there. Greetings and, from the NYC, saith Viviana. And Dan was so nice to be the cameraman. You're like, where's Art? Your audio stinks. Everything's back to normal. So then I'll just cut this beautiful salmon into the same kind of... Uh, la la girl in the house. La la. La la sent me some uh, nice stuff from the grocery outlet. La la girl palooza. <laughs> exactly. Now more and more people are actually sending me uh, stuff they get at grocery outlet. Oh my God, this morning. I forgot the uh, person's name. They sent me their haul from Grocery Outlet from, uh, I want to say it was Oregon maybe. Pfft, are you kidding me? The stuff they got there for rock bottom prices. I could not believe it. It's probably one of those places, la la, right? Where it's like hit or miss. Sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. But man, I'm talking like Primal Kitchen mayonnaise, uh, pasture raised eggs for a fraction of the price of any other store. Like today I did a little video from uh, Whole Foods. And look, I know how to navigate Whole Foods and get good deals here and there, but nothing, I repeat, nothing beats Grocery Outlet when they have uh, good quality stuff in stock. I don't know how they do it because I don't think the stuff is like old and about to go like moldy or something. Quick questions. See Brian something. wants to know a tortilla recommendation. Tortilla chip recommendation. Ah, uh, siete, bro. Siete chips all the way. They're grain-free, best-in-class ingredients. What if you want corn? If you want corn, um... I haven't found one that actually uses anything different than like 
expeller pressed safflower or sunflower oil. So you have to get an organic one um, that it uses organic expeller pressed. I know late July does, but does anyone know of a, a, a tortilla chip that uses avocado oil or coconut oil or something like that? It, it'd be nice if they did that. I don't understand why then they don't. Ashley Onet has a two-parter. What is the best cleanest pumpkin spice mix slash seasoning? Ah, um, you know what? I wanted to make a little video about that. I haven't, if you just get the pumpkin seasoning like in the bottle, they're all clean, right? They're all made of cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, stuff like that. That's fine. The problem is when you start going into uh, pumpkin spiced things like coffee and coffee creamer, which is why layered superfood is the only one I, uh, only one I eat for that. And then second one was what's the best vanilla for baking? Um, pure vanilla extract, right? I, I think anyone's fine. You just don't want to get imitation. Imitation's garbage. So let's do a little bit of salt on here. And then we'll just throw over the spices. Char says she made her own vanilla extract in vodka. It's been two weeks and the smell is already intense. No, that sounds great. I saw my friend Gemma Stafford from Bigger Boulder Baking made that video last year. It's so easy. You just split a vanilla bean, you put it into uh, vodka and you let it sit. It's a great idea. And it's gonna be better than anything from the store. Super chat from Jen H up there in Canada, $5. Canadian, we'll have to watch the replay on Friday. We'll be driving three hours to visit my dad. Ooh. But don't forget, I'll watch the replay. Also, Bobby, Peely Nuts are great. Peely Nuts, I was just gonna say, let me grab a bag of those, where are they? Um, they came out today. Where are they? Oh, down here. They came out today on Laird. Oh my God. Well, These Peely Nuts, you guys, are seriously addictive. Go to my Costco video I launched this morning. Uh, what's on sale now at Costco? There's a 15% off promo code for the Peely Nuts from Laird. Peely Nuts with Himalayan. Peely Nuts with raw cacao. Peely Nuts with Kyoto green matcha tea powder. Highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. They're amazing. Mirza says, heard of olive fed Wagyu? I have not. No. That's pretty uh, intriguing. Olive fed, wow, that's crazy. Gee, man, those cubbies were depressing. Oh, dude. Cubs? were pathetic. I couldn't wait to start taking off my Cubs paraphernalia because they're so darn pathetic. Every year it's the same thing. They limp into the playoffs and they get bounced. All right, so smoked paprika, ancho chili powder. I'm going to leave two uh, bare in case Rose wants those, which I have a feeling she will. I hope I have more turmeric and then a little bit of turmeric. G-Man says, so are the Cardinals. Yeah, pretty pathetic, dude. Then so we'll are the White flip. Sox. Yeah. Well, Chicago. It's actually a really bad time for Chicago teams. sports now. Even though the Bears are three and one, they're not that good. No. And uh, the game yesterday was path uh, pathetic. I w or month Sunday. I wish I didn't even watch it. And um, the Bulls are horrible. The Cubs are just like terrible. It's a, it's a bad time Black for Chicago Hawks sports. Blackhawks are bad too. Oh, hor horrific. So a little bit more salt. Sale. D Brown in the house. Welcome back, D sir. D was in the UP of Michigan this weekend. Oh, nice. Good Went place. Went to this little, like, um, co-op market. What was it called? Marquette or something? They had layered pumpkin spice superfood creamer up there, and it was on sale. The most random place ever. I was so happy to see that. He had texted me a picture. I was like, what? That's crazy. Dude, Laird has taken over. They went public uh, last week or so. The company's worth, like, $400 million. They're crushing life right now. Uh, did I do turn... Did I do ancho already? I don't remember. No, that was just smoked ancho. The smell is fantastic of that smoked paprika. Mm. The smell. Can you I smell feel saturated that? by it? <laughs> is that uh, Matrix? Yes. That was good art. Thank you. If you haven't ever seen Art do his uh, Matrix imitation while he's eating the steak, which you should do for everyone on Friday, Art. Art does a great one. Is that Cypher doing it? Uh, was uh, Cypher, yeah. Yeah. Art does what's a great... That, what's that actor's real name? I have no idea. Anybody know? He's pretty famous. Somebody will know. Art does this a This is great, a very dependable Art will community. do that when he's biting into his uh, $100 steak on Friday. Okay. Let's just move this to the side. So once again, if you're just joining, we're making salmon tacos. Something a lot of people don't do. When you have beautiful, fatty, farm-raised, high-quality, moey salmon like this, 
you want to do something special, salmon tacos are great. We're about to make refried beans cooked in pork lard. We're going to make a uh, red cabbage and kale crunch salad. I already have a little bit of my favorite double roasted uh, frontera salsa. I've got some cashew queso here and we're going to make some guacamole. It should be easy. If you're just joining, we got 700 family members. Leave a comment down below. I said earlier, uh, this stream is sponsored by Moe Salmon. You may have remembered we did a couple videos with them earlier this year. If you're looking for good quality, really good quality, farm-raised salmon, this is what you want. This is Moe on Amazon Fresh. This one comes with a, uh, a uh, cedar plank here, so it infuses that flavor. This is some of the best responsibly raised, high-quality farm-raised salmon you can get. Check this out, Art. If you click right below the video here, Check it out on Amazon Fresh. There's my link right there. This is what you want. The other stuff, most of the stuff in the grocery store is garbage. This is good. Uh, also down here, uh, pre-order the cookbook with my link right here, the new one, and uh, sign up for my Flav City Immune Tea pre-sale list, which should be out uh, end of month. Uh, so many people bought the cookbook uh, this weekend. It instantly became a number one bestseller on uh, Amazon. And the old one, oh, I didn't put it back. The old one is also a number one bestseller. So I went up to the computer and I'll show you later on. And both books side by side were bestsellers. I was like, we have the best fans ever. Speaking of that, Jill Chops, $20 Chopsky. Super Chat High Flav City Family. Dinner looks great. Remember, pre-order the best cookbook <laughs> now on Amazon. Can't wait for the promo code for the olive oil. That's coming up Friday, Jill. We got the best quality extra virgin olive oil for unbeatable price. Uh, Jill, you should be happy to know that your daughter sent Art and I a picture of this huge, uh, huge chocolate haul she got. And she got an amazing coupon code because I guess her order got melted or delayed and she got a huge discount. D Brown, thank you. Cypher is Joe Pentoliano. Oh, that sounds familiar. And uh, I think Mike Chan was saying, yeah, he was also in The Fugitive. Yes, that's, I only know him from a couple also of movies. What? He was in The Fugitive also. He was one of the uh, U.S. Marshals. Oh, yeah. Dude, Fugitive with Harrison Ford? That was such a great movie. Yeah. What were we talking about before we went on the air that we said we should ask people about? We were like, oh, what was something from? Remember that? Dude, that's like every conversation. <laughs> Can you be any more vague? Uh, yeah, Andrew, I know he was in Sopranos too, but I never got into that show, so yeah, I can't I, say that I saw it. People love that. I probably should have watched that show. You know what show I started watching on um, Apple Plus uh, last week is uh, Tehran. Uh, it's one episode per week, which is kind of a bummer, but it's really good. It's about an Israeli Mossad agent who gets kind of stuck in a... Uh, Iran on an undercover mission. Really, really good stuff. Apparently, Pantoliano was in Risky Business, too, but I didn't see that. What? Risky Business with Tom Cruise? Art has not seen that movie, I'm guessing. Right? Well, I just, I just said I oh, haven't Tom. seen it, so yeah. <laughs> you guessed correct. Thank you. Thank you can you still call much. it a guess. Thank you very much. Thank you. He was also in Bad Boys, which I also didn't see. I didn't see that. With Will Smith, I didn't see that. Did they just remake a Bad Boys number two, which seems like the worst idea ever? Maybe Martin Lawrence needed the cash or something. Okay, I have a question for my uh, Latina fans out there. I've never made refried beans in my life. Here's my game plan. You tell me if it's correct. I'm going to saute some onions and garlic in my ceramic pan. Get them nice and soft, right? Then I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to do that in rendered pasture-raised pork fat, uh, manteca. Then I'm going to drop the beans in there with maybe a little bit of water, cook it for a bit, puree it into a uh, smooth paste, and then add it back to the pan and refry it again. Uh, maybe add a little bit of um, cumin in there, smoked paprika. Tell me where I'm going right, where I'm going wrong. If you're like, Dios mío, este gringo está loco en la cabeza, you tell me what's going on, okay? Apparently that would be the third bad boys. No, really? That's what folks are saying? Ay vey. Third bad boys, that's crazy. Martin Lawrence was like, so popular back in the day, then he kind of like fell off the face of the earth, right? We only use refried beans so we can take a bubble bath later. <laughs> oh my God, it's funny. Uh, let's see. Put yeah. a red pepper in there, says Andres. Let's see. Robert Williams says pork fat, gross. No way. That's right for the refried beans, says Melody. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Please keep chiming in. I uh, just... Viviana says, hey Art, when Bobby has a second, he should check his email. And that's like hinting at something because oh. there's some emojis involved here. OMG. OMG. So, Viviana, is that something that we should show on air or is that something for Bobby to check? Yeah, you let me know because I'm going to go to the computer today. soon and show the, uh, the cookbook too. So, fingers on top of the onion. Make planks across like that. Fingers back like the claw. Make sticks like that. 
fingers back again, perched on top, one more slice down. Yeah, it can too. We're basically using lard raisin pork fat. And you got to use pork fat you when you're making uh, refried beans. You got it. First of all, it's rendered, or I should say, it's pasture raised rendered pork fat. That's about as good as it gets. It's not like that big tub of manteco you get from a Walmart neighborhood market. That's pretty nasty stuff. Now, when you're using lard, you got to cook it first. Do you have to do that with this or not? No. Okay. Mm -mm. What do you mean to cook it first? Uh, you kind of need to cook your oil before you use it. If you're oh, using lard. Yeah. Really? Like, get it hot and then uh, let it cook a little and then start to add your food. Really? Like, get a little bit of color. Like too yeah. hot to handle? Too cold to hold? Something like that. Okay, good to know. So this is it. It has a nice... Actually, you know, it smells like it might be uh, rancid art. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Smell that's this art. That's happened before. <laughs> Not the most pleasant. I don't want to use it. We're going to switch. We have other fats. Why don't we do it in duck fat art? Not authentic, but okay. <laughs> I'm, cool. I'm cool with it. Excuse me. Let's make sure. Have you ever used za'atar? If you had, nice. what do you think of it and how to elevate it? Um, yeah, I only use it really to garnish dishes. So I don't know how to elevate it per se, but it's really nice. Zatar is the um, dried bud of a certain bush in the Mediterranean. And it's really lovely, but it's more of a garnishing thing that I know of, but I'm not too versed in uh, Middle Eastern cooking. I think I can answer Jennifer's question. She says, I need that knife. How often do you sharpen your knives? Not often enough. I need to send it to Shun. So Jennifer, if you want that knife and all of my kitchen gear, once again, all right, check it out. I always hook you guys up. So in the description box below the salmon link, here, amazon.com slash shop. Is that Rose? Yeah. Rose is up. She's not going to be happy. Uh, slash Flav City. That has my um, kitchen gear, my knife, all that stuff. This one is the Shun uh, Dual Core. Then the price went down. It's like 215 now, but it's well worth it. But I have other options on there, too, if you don't want to spend the money. Florida girl, it is me. I'm back. Art's back in the house, y'all. Desi and I had a great time. In Florida last week. Gen H, I already showed myself and I said hello. Do it again, Art. Do it again. Yeah, all right. Don't be shy. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Gi. Uh, Art's oh, wearing the OMG. I'm wearing the Rated Gi. Is this uh, one changing at all? Like when it's no, that one's going to be official. Yeah. <laughs> Shirts, I believe, are coming out tomorrow. Um, so I'll have links for you on the rest of the live streams this week. Shirts are coming out tomorrow. Flav City Immune Tea, which the pre-sale list is down below in the description box, should be out by the end of October, and we're still working hard on the app and all that good stuff. You heard it here first. You heard it here first, homie. Have you seen 365 Whole Foods pasture-raised butter? I haven't seen that at all. Jellyfish? So basically you're saying it's uh, grass-fed butter. Very Hello, Rose Honey Buns. I'm going to make you a snack, Rose. I'm going to make you a snack because I think... Yeah. Say hi to everyone. Hi, Rosie. Yeah. Hi. Say hi, Rosie. How was your nap? It was about what? Oh, over an hour. Yeah, it was over an hour. That's pretty good, Rosie. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Daddy made a mess with the onions, Rosie. We're going to clean that. I'm going to cook you a piece of salmon right now, Rose. How about that? Because I had a feeling. Milwaukee Brewer, Milwaukee Brewer says hi, Kara, with a C. Hi. Right. Let's see how. how are you guys? Let's see if Rosie is there. Up for showing her uh, sign language. Rose, do you want some food? There it is. That's food. All right, let's do it. I'm going to make you some food right I, now, I'm supposed Rose. to zoom in on your shirt because uh, Jennifer saying G for what? Rated G. Uh -huh. Highly clarified and absolutely delicious. This was art. Uh, yeah, actually. This is an original art. Richard Marcotte, $10 super chat. Thanks for flying SWA to FLL. Please yeah. come back soon. Go Dodges. We yeah. <laughs> have... We had such a great time flying uh, Southwest. It was such a breeze. Everyone's so nice there. Southwest is the way to really fly. Should we start with grape, maybe? Yeah, start with the grape roast, too. Okay, so onions are in. We're going to cook those down. Got to throw away the pork fat here. Premier you, uh, protein you. drink, better than, pre better than Premier 20 protein? Question mark? I'm not sure what that means. I guess it's a drink. <clears throat> I'm, I have Vital Proteins Collagen Water, which What's has uh, Nancy 10 grams of protein in there. That comes from uh, collagen. That doesn't come from like whey or 
anything like that. Rostina, I'm going to make you a little. Did Kara with a C go to Florida as well, asks Richard Marcotte. No, she didn't, but we should have took her with, to be honest. She's waiting for like a beach destination, to be honest. Kara's holding out for a more of a, a luxury destination. Aruba. Aruba? Yeah, Aruba or Hawaii. That works yeah. too, right? <laughs> uh, Maritza Castello. Castello? Five dollars? It's epic beef tallow, 100% grass fed. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. The beef tallow is 100% grass fed. Thanks um, for that super chat. The pork fat is pasture raised. The chicken is not pasture raised, but it is non GMO and they're transitioning to that. Uh, in the video I filmed today about my favorite things to buy at Whole Foods right now, uh, Epic has brand new pork and chicken bits as salad toppers with next level ingredients. I'd never seen it before. I kind of stumbled upon it. It was really cool. Hey, Roasty, my sweet. Okay, Rose, I'm making you a little salmon. This one's got your name all over it, right here. Let me just make sure the pan is hot. Julie, no, none of us are related. Not hot yet. Not hot yet, Rose. Did Jen H says, is it really a C or a K? Uh, Kara's name is with a C. Yeah. It's with a C. It's with a C. Yeah. With a C. I see a lot of Ks out there. Y'all are wrong. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> The chat room is buzzing about Kara's spelling of her name. I love Linguistics it. Linguistics are prime and center here. Okay. Um, that's not really linguistics. It's just spelling, I guess. Last night on Instagram stories, we made some, uh, some fried rice with a mixture of black, red, and brown rice and some uh, pasture-raised, grass-fed uh, Tasmanian... Uh, what was it? Uh, hanger, oh, no, hang, no, what's your favorite cut? Not the flank steak, but the... Uh, Flat iron? Like flat iron with flat iron steaks. We did a little goju jing marinade. That was good. Viviana says, it's an email about nothing. Hashtag hint. Hmm. About nothing. Well, I, we'll check it. I'll check it first to make sure it's safe, and then we'll do it together. Okay. salmon. Yeah, we're making that salmon for you, Rose. We're making that really fatty farm-raised Norwegian salmon for you, Rostina. It's going to be good. So once again, refried beans. Please, this is a crowdsourced recipe. How does this sound, Kara? We're gonna soften up some onions and some garlic, throw some cumin and, and smoked paprika in there, put the canned black beans, throw some water in there, cook it down, mm -hmm. blend it into a smooth puree, and then refry it again in fat. Ooh, that sounds good. Sounds good, all right? Yeah. See, I think it sounds we good. We just got a super chat from Susie Critter, four ninety nine. This Suze. Texan likes her refrijoles on the chunky side. Oh, as, yeah. long, as long as it sticks good to the tortilla, it looks good. So I was thinking because of that, I shouldn't actually puree it. Maybe I should just put it into a bowl and mash it very aggressively. What do you think about that? Thoughts, comments, Siobhan concerns? Siobhan Kid says, feed Rose, she's hungry. Yes. Jodell Fields, 1999, super chat. This is for Rosie Sign Language. Oh, oh you're so sweet. All right, Rose, this is your salmon going down. Beautiful piece of fatty salmon there. And then you can stand on her new chef's tower. Did we show that on Friday? I forgot. I think so. Yeah, I think we showed that. But just in case people haven't seen it, we can bring it yeah, over. Yeah, we'll bring it over when the salmon's ready. Abraham saying hand mash. Jenny says yeah, I think don't so. puree. Yeah, yeah, I think Pierre Maggie B is in the house. What up, Maggie? Ooh, Amber bought the Simple Mills pumpkin spice bread or muffin mix. I tried to find the pancake mix today at Whole Foods and I couldn't find it. Milwaukee Burr says, yes, we sell the tower. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's a little Anastasia, texture. welcome. Poquito textura en el frijoles, right? Let's see here. What about blueberry? Oh, did I, I bought you blueberries too, Rose, so we can give you some of those. What's up, Sarah Windmuller? Only for Rose. I never buy stuff out of season like this because he's come from South America. But if Roasty wants it, Roasty gets it, right? Uh, Ida says, hi, beautiful Flav family. I made your baked chicken wings. Ooh. They were amazing, but question, I have a wolf oven. Would you cook on convection or regular bake? Convection, for sure. Especially if your name is Stangman. Yes, yeah, right. Convection, for sure, my dear. Right? Thank you for that. All right, Rose, let's get you some, let's get you some uh, blueberries to start Erica with. with a K is her name. Mexican American here from Texas. My mom mashes the beans with a potato masher right in the skillet. Uh, yeah, I love that idea. I just don't want to um, mark up my brand new uh, ceramic pan. Otherwise, I would do that. I'm loving these ceramic pans, by the way. They're on the Flav City shop page. They're fantastic. I'm going to cook the salmon in there. Here's some blueberries I got for you, Rostina. Really fantastic talk. Um, Kara, Sherry Kennedy says that your hair looks so pretty today. 
pan's a little hot, so what I'm going to do is just splash in a touch of water here. Siobhan Kidd said, would someone please feed Rose? <laughs> We're working on it. She's got I, her blueberries. That was me saying all caps. So, yeah. speaking of feed Rose, I'm going to work on these custom emojis that we can use in the description box. And they'll be like, hashtag feed Rose, hashtag feed art, emojis of art, Rose, Desi, all of us. Because uh, I think I'm going to start doing channel memberships um, in a lot of different brackets. But even for like $5 a month. You'll be a member if you want. You'll get a custom emoji, access to uh, the members only um, discussion board over on the uh, community tab. Um, tell me what you think about that. I was thinking long and hard and uh, someone basically convinced me to do channel memberships uh, because it's a really great thing to expand the uh, community. So Kelly, Wein know. Kelly Weinstein with a super chat, 4 dollars Just wanted to say hello to you all, but especially Rose. My yes. grandkids are waving to Rose. Oh, nice, thank you, Kelly. Thank you. And uh, people are loving the idea. Jennifer Rosso loves the idea. Fantastic. All right, good. So I keep seeing channel memberships all over YouTube, and I can't Jill do a Chopsky membership where it's it. like, hey, you guys, you get early access to videos, because to be honest, my videos are ready literally like 12 hours before they go live or sooner, but we can do a special emojis. We can do special members-only live streams and Q&As and stuff like that. Sure, Kennedy, I'm happy to be back. Thank you much. Uh, Richard Marcotte says, hey, did you ever do what Rose eats in a week video? Um, you know, we started filming it and like I never finished it. So uh, we need to start it again because that was when she was like three months younger. Did you uh, travel with your carbon steel skillet? Did you bring that to Florida? I did not, no. Okay. I'm shocked. All right, best can opener in the world. Have you ever been able to open up a can one-handed? You can now. Look at this. It locks on. It catches, and then you're like, well, how do you get the thing off, Bobby? There's a magnet there, Rosie. Look, Daddy's gonna use his magnet. Oh, forget about it. Isn't that awesome, Rusty? That's cool, I love this thing. It's one of my favorite gadgets. Uh, it's on my Amazon shop page, right below the video. Check it out. And then, Rosie, I gotta flip your... Uh, Suzanne's mind off. is officially blown. Yeah, <laughs> and I tell you, for kitchen geeks like me and you guys, this this is like the bee's knees, right? All right, Rose, I'm going to Art, your welcome center. back. We made pork chops out of the cookbook. Came out awesome. Ooh. Side benefit, the coconut milk helped make the cast iron pan almost nonstick. Thank you for that point there, Andrew. Adam. That's what Glad I hear. Glad you had a good what experience. What almost made it nonstick? Uh, the coconut milk. Ah, that's nice. What so, kind of coconut yogurt do you recommend? Um... Hmm. There's one from, I think, Coco June, it's called, that's very good. And there's one in this glass bottle at Whole Foods that's really expensive. The other ones um, have a lot of unsavory ingredients in there. What's the name of the one you got from Whole Foods in that glass bottle that's, like, really, really good and has a tangy effect because it's kind of, like, has a fermented bacteria in there? Uh, Richard Marcotte with a not-so-subtle not plug for his employer, he says. But he could have taken that pan to FLL because bags fly free. <laughs> We took advantage of that. We had three bags checked in, plus the stroller, plus the car seat. That's transparency art. Yeah. You're, not free, to, you're Richie, not free to fly the country. Right? Richie, I'm still waiting for the marketing department to email me. They'd be silly not to do a collaboration where, like, Art and I travel down to, like, Austin and check out the food scene. And then Stangman takes us around and all that stuff. Uh, I saw a video over the weekend of Guga when he went to go visit Franklin Barbecue in Austin. Oh, for real? He also went to Salt Lake Barbecue. All right, so check place. it out. Come over here real quick. Uh, what do you think of the awesome Whole Foods in Boca, asks Ida. About the what? The awesome Whole Foods in Boca. Oh, it's really nice. They have amazing grass-fed beef selection. Okay, so garlic and onions got nice and caramelized. Beans go in. I'm going to salt these beans now and add smoked paprika and cumin. I believe Rostina's... Salmon is done here. What do you think of the Gotham pans that are on sale this month at Costco? No, those are garbage, you guys. These are high quality ceramic that will last you a long time. Gotham, the nonstick will go away as soon as can be, and it's not made with solid Thank aluminum you, cores Chum. and stainless steel on the outside. Gotham is garbage. Thank please. you, Chum Lee. Appreciate that. All right, so let's try these. Let's see if Rusty's Coco yo done. yogurt. Coco yo, yeah, that's right, Coco yo. All right, Rusty, that's ready for Rusty now. Luna really says, OMG, can I be your flight attendant, please? <laughs> yes. What kind of beans are those? They're black beans, Sarah. Yeah, organic, organic black beans. 
The one thing, like one of my bucket lists, I don't have many, and I don't like fancy cars and expensive things. The one thing I want to do in my life is fly, fly on a private jet. For some reason, I've always wanted to do that. I don't want to pay for it. I'll put that out there, right? But I, somehow I want to get in a private jet. It's just like, to me, that just seems like so cool. It's like the one thing I want to do. Yeah, Rose, look, that's you. I love those commercials with like Robert Milwaukee Kirk Brewer on the private twenty dollar super chat. Whoa! Back to your olive oil video. Yes. I get why Primal Kitchen is deficient, but I don't understand where the three sixty five extra virgin one hundred percent California unfiltered olive oil falls short in comparison to the one hundred percent California olive oil from California ah. Olive Ranch. Great question. Um, no, the one hundred percent California EVOO is fine from uh, from Whole Foods. And Primal Kitchen's, uh, it is short because it's from Tunisia, but Primal Kitchen's avocado oil and virgin avocado oil is good. Maggie V says, borrow Arts Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carolyn Shiozaki, I got to fly in a private jet and go backstage at a Bon Jovi concert back in the 80s. It was an incredible experience. See? Definitely something you should do. That's what I want to talk about. I want to take a private jet somewhere really nice. Yeah. Actually, you know what's funny? Uh, the guys over at Laird, they said, hey, do you want to come this winter to a Laird's house in Hawaii and do some kind of like workshop there? I'm like, uh, yeah, that sounds amazing. So we'll see if that happens. All depends upon uh, travel and everything, but that wouldn't be on a private jet unless. Kinky too says loop-de-loops and biplanes are pretty cool too. What's that? If you're in a biplane and you do loop-de-loops. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so with the beans here, a little bit of smoke paps and a little bit of cumin. Coming to the... Yeah, kiss rules, RIP. A little bit of cumin, and we'll just cook this. If I had bone broth, I ran out. I'd add it. Um, well, I'll add some water and just cook this down and then mash it. Oh, by the way, next uh, week on Tuesday's live stream, um, I'll have a 30% off promo code for Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. I had a flash sale for Instagram uh, last weekend. So many people bought it, they actually sold them out. So they want to sponsor a uh, YouTube Live and uh, we'll make a bone broth inspired recipe. It's going to be great. Okay, uh, Rusty, this is for you. Lady Starfall says, your promo code did not work. I ordered the Peely Nuts and could not use it. Uh, what? Well, it's not even a promo code. It's an auto uh, apply. You don't have to do anything. You go to the Peely Nut landing page and it says 15% off everything. Michael Kavitka says, for $125, and $25 for additional people, you can come to Indiana and they will let you fly the plane. So worth it, very cool. That's not interesting. Here you go, Rosie. I don't want Bobby that's flying similar. a plane, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Peely Nuts. Go to my Costco video I launched this morning. What to buy Costco right now that's on sale? Peely Nuts dropped this morning from Laird. Rich in vitamin E, rich in magnesium, highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world, sprouted from the Philippines. It's like eating crispy butter. Look at these. Check these out, Art. You've never seen, look at that nut. Those seem big, I thought they are smaller than that. No, this is it. These are sprouted whole peely nuts. It tastes, you guys, lit, and look, you can see it's sprouted, you can see the tail right there? That's the sprouting. It tastes, I'll try that. It will. To me, it's like crispy butter. Go to my link in that Costco video from this morning. It's 15% off just for this week. Kara, try that. Ever had a peely nut before? I don't think so. Let's get Kara's unbiased reaction right here. Mm, that's good. Right? Agreed. Very really creamy and fatty, huh? Yeah. It's, it's so unique. Matthew Dazelski, Marlins oh, are 7 and 0 oh in playoff series, and yes. two of them versus oh, it's Cubs. so soft. Yeah. Have some more if you want. Marlins oh. are great. 7 and 0 oh in playoff series, and two of them are against the Cubs. Are you serious? Wow, that's crazy. Are you? They're on fire. They minced the Cubs. And the Cubs injured that guy, uh, Marte, broke his hand. Bon Jovi's new album, 2020, is out. Are you serious? Wow. Look at Rusty crushing that salmon. Hi, Rusty. You love your Sammy. Andrew is saying that the uh, pork chop recipe <coughs> from the book he used was pork chops al pastor. Oh, yeah, dude. That's so good. Keep the change. With the uh, pork chops al pastor, you can use that with the uh, burrito bowl recipe. Let's just check for seasoning here with these frijoles. Well, while you do that, Michael P. just gave you a super chat. $4.99. Can't wait for the peely nut. Such a great price, people. Bobby, make sure you have Laird put you through his XPT workouts and ice baths. That's what they're talking about. Laird does these crazy intense workouts, some underwater, and then he has this sauna that goes up to 235 degrees, and you have to do a one-on-one -on -one session there. I'm like, hey, I'll go to Hawaii and cook some food with him. I don't know if I want to go into the truth barrel or whatever they call it. That's really good. Oh, my God. That's great. So a little more salt. 
And then here, here's my question, you guys. Should I add some water now, let it cook down, and then mash it, and then add some more pork fat and maybe some more water? Let me know, all my uh, Latino amigos out there. Stacy Schuler says, do y'all get messages sent through the website? I sent one today for Bobby to review a product. Just wasn't sure if you'll get it or if sending a direct email is better. And knowing Bobby, he's seen it. Um, yeah, they usually both work. Sometimes they go to spam. Uh, direct email is the best. Or if you really have an important question, you uh, send Art a DM on Instagram. That's the back door. Don't abuse it. That's the back door. Because you guys, I get literally over 100 DMs on um Instagram a day, I got like 30 emails. I just can't keep up because it's, do I want to work and create content or sit there and answer every email? I just got to balance, right? People are saying never water, use bone broth. I'm out. I'm 100% oh, oh, what the heck was that? I'm 100% oh, out of bone broth. You can use that uh, towel over. So I got to use water, unfortunately. I'm guessing in Oaxaca, they would probably use water, right? Thank you. Water with some onion and garlic. I'm out. All right, do you have any uh, Colt 45 in your bag? Can you use that? Only Mickey's. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to transfer to a blender, actually. Uh, fat only, says Lizbeth. Really? Only fat? How much fat would I need then? That seems like a lot of fat. Use beer. I don't have any beer. All I have is keto wine. Let's see. I did. You gave, I, did. I ordered the bone and broth, Sherry. Down to you, uh, Erica, and uh, we, u we used it, and she uh, kept a bunch. Vodka. Has, some vodka. Wow, she has a bunch down there. What salt do you suggest? I only suggest using Celtic sea salt. It's the most tasty, mineral-rich salt on the market. If you get the kosher salt, this is the fine sea salt. It still is nice and pinchable. Celtic sea salt is the best salt you can get. People are saying no water. No water? Some people are saying just fat. But... Yeah, but how do you get it so, like, creamy, just with fat? I think it needs some kind of water. I'm gonna use water and fat. I thought I used some liquid when I Yeah, I, I feel like we though. need some liquid, right? Let's throw, <laughs> actually I can make homemade bone broth by using collagen water. <laughs> but it has lemon in there, which could be good actually. So let's put a little bit of water. There we go. And then I'll put a big scoop of fat in there. A bit, look at this roasty. This is duck fat roast. Stacy Schuler, LOL, believe it or not, I don't know Bobby's email, even though he's said it a million times. <laughs> Bobby at FlaveCity.com. Once That's again, my Bobby email. at FlaveCity.com. That right is correct. You, okay, all right, let's come back here. Let this kind of cook down. Do its thing. Look at that. Black Baby. beans doing its thing. That's right. Let that cook down. Let's start making that slaw a little bit. Rose, how's the... Um, Whoa, sandwich. super chat. Shashank, I never seen that name before. $9.99. Hi, Bobby. I've been following you guys for over six months now. It's been an, such an eye-opening experience. When will the t-shirts be available? Thank you. I haven't seen that name before. Great to see that you've been following us. T-shirts should be dropping tomorrow. I'll let you guys all know on Instagram and on the live stream the rest of the week. Uh, let's take a little break right now. Let's come over here. Right, we can check the computer for a second. Let me show you a couple of things. So I was very happy when I went to my Amazon shop page, this is amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. And the new book was a bestseller, which I didn't know you can do in pre-sales. And the old book or the current book is a bestseller. But I clicked on this. And number one is soul food cooking, food and wine. But you can Are those see, two different categories? It's two different categories. But yeah, I mean, this is great. Look at this. Ranks number three and uh, or four and heart healthy. 2,500 on all of Amazon. There's like 3 million books on Amazon. So that was really cool. That's on the shop page. The link's down below in the description box. And then, flash off here for one second, all right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get the email. It's from Viviana. They're back. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Let me try it out. Can you make it full screen? There we go. Look. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know this was a promo. Yes! Oh, oh my yes. God. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Oh my, Vivi, that is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god! It looks almost like uh, Screech from. Uh, yeah, I thought it was kind of Screech. It looks like Screech. It's from, almost uh, Larry Appleton and and uh, <laughs> Balky ish. Oh my god! But I see god. the the Cosmo. Wow, that is funny. That's Vivi, funny. You are Thanks, hilarious, Vivi. girl. You are hilarious. Okay, let's start making some slaw. <laughs> Excuse me, Karen. She said it's about nothing. I'm like, well, it's got to be science. Where, where is she going with that? That was good. It's about nothing. Rustine, we're gonna make that. Slaw. Ooh, are you eating all your yummy food? That was good. Can we order signed cookbooks? Yes, uh, that'll be available probably the first week of December. We'll only do that on live streams. 
on Instagram stories in very limited quantities because Art and I actually have to sign each one, package it, and ship it. And um, yeah, we don't use auto pen here. No auto pen. So Viviana says it's a Festivus miracle. Well said, Vivi. Well said. And somebody was saying use the leftover liquid from the beans if you need liquid. Oh, I hate doing that because it's starchy. If I boil my own beans, I would use that. I call um, the leftover liquid in the can fart water. It's just way too. Oh, I don't know if they're too starchy. I don't really know what they're referring to. Maybe they're talking about that. Yeah, that's just too starchy. That's I not what I was thinking of. But hey, Rosie, Rose, have you said hi to everyone? Hi, everyone. Hello. Rose is growing so big. Mm -hmm. How many teeth are popping through now, Kara? Ooh. A All lot. of them are on the bottom like, popping through. Yeah, it's Whether crazy. Fully out or not. I don't know about the top, though. There's a lot. Checked. It's popping, Rose. That's why she gets a little cranky here and there because she's teething. But... Shula says, add water, then mash up the beans, then heat your pan with bacon grease, and cook the beans at a simmer. That's what I think I'll do. That's what I think I'll do. What's my knee hitting here, Rusty? Oh, gosh. Mike Chan just wrote, Stand inside <laughs> of my dreams. <laughs> hey, it was based in Chicago. Right, Art? Yes, it was. As was Family Matters, which was a spinoff, I learned. Yeah. The that, most bizarre spinoff ever. That doesn't ever. sound right to me. That sounds weird. How are we doing? Oh, we got Marcotte. 100 people watching. Yeah, nice. Marcotte says, I have vacation. I will come help package and send. I can get there for free and have a cheap place to stay. Now we're talking, Mark. Now we're talking, Marcotte. That's Jasmine Williams says, did you get emails about helping you with ads? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, if you're really good at Facebook ads and targeted ads, I need some help because we're going to want to run some when our new Flav City uh, immune tea comes out. Pre-sale list has 16,000 people on there. We only ordered 15,000 units. So um, if everyone follows through, which they won't, uh, we'll sell out immediately. But Amazon link is down below. Uh, if you're just joining, welcome. Leave a comment down below where you're watching from. We're making uh, salmon tacos. We're making refried beans and cabbage crunch slaw. Uh, we're using, in case you didn't see earlier, the best in class farm-raised salmon on the market. And this is from Moe. We've done stuff with them earlier in the year. But if you're going to get farm-raised salmon, it has to be good quality, Rose. Like you're eating the best quality. Look at this art. This one actually comes with a, oh my God, Rachel, hold on a second. This one comes with a uh, cedar, cedar plank here. This is ethically and high quality raised in Norway. No antibiotics, no overcrowding of the pen. There's too much bad quality farm raised salmon out there. These guys do it right. Check this out, Art. Try it out on Amazon Fresh. It delivers around the country. Click my bit.ly link right there. They do it fantastic and it's rich in omega threes. Rachie Murray with a hundred dollar super check. Can we say thank you, Rayo? Thank you, Rachie. Thank Love you. watching you and Art. You all crack me up. Cooking crispy skin chicken thighs Ooh. with salsa better day oh. and asparagus for dinner. Going back to Monterey for a little R and R. First in line for a signed cookbook. Well, that's guaranteed for you, Rachie. Monterey. Sounds like you're not going back to work. Jasmine Williams, uh, Bobby at FlaveCity.com. Bobby at FlaveCity.com. Monterey sounds lovely. Absolutely thank lovely. Thank you for the super chat there, Rachel. There's, are there any of those uh, wildfires in like San Diego area or San Quentin? I don't think so, right? That kind of stops at like LA County, is that correct? Standing tall. Such a I was great just song. Thinking, I think it was the Monterey Music Festival and Jimi Hendrix lit his guitar on fire and then you're talking about wildfires. I'm just thinking like, what if... Oh. I know that didn't happen. So you're blaming Jimi Hendrix for the wildfires? Um, hypothetically, if he was around today. <laughs> Actually, I think there was some arson. To that too, wasn't there? Those fires are out of control. It's terrible. Uh, let's see what we got going. San Diego's good. No fire. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Side of line. Ah, nice, baby. <laughs> nice. Why is this mini oven is on? Like, what's baking my groin here? Jeez, Louise. Yeah, we don't want to bake. You want a sister or brother, right? Can't do that. Yeah, but uh, Northern California, Richard has some fires too, not just San Diego. Well, yeah, NorCal. Um, NorCal. Wait, I'm a, well, I don't actually know why you're, San Quentin, not near San Diego. I'm aware of that, and I'm just putting, I'm making some, I'm jumping the shark. Is San Quentin not near San Diego? I thought it was. San Quentin, isn't that up north uh, by uh, San Francisco? Oh, is it? I didn't know. I thought so. I'm Somebody, a, please clarify. I'm just a caveman. I don't know Neither anything. of us know. I don't know nothing. Let's shred some kale here. 
I'm going to cook that salmon. By the way, the salmon is yes, by San marinated. Fran. It's by San Fran. The salmon's back there marinating in uh, turmeric, big one, smoked paprika, and ancho chili powder. And then I'm excited because for the first time, I'm going to use the Whole Foods branded almond flour tortillas, which ingredient-wise, it's just as good as a, look at this there, just as good as a siete, and it's a couple bucks cheaper, so I'll try it out. Can you grill kale? Ah, uh, no. That's one thing you can't do to kale, unfortunately. Hey, Rusty. Hey, are you enjoying your snack? Mm How -hmm. oh, we got you? You're in the chef's tower, hanging out with me. <laughs> Milwaukee Brewer. He's gonna ask. The answer is black Tuscan dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that much of a broken record. What kind of chili powder do we use, Art? So I'm asking. What do you mean, what kind? What kind of chili powder do we use? We use some ancho chili. We use, yeah. yeah. That's what someone asked. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Bobby loves that stripper. Says Maggie B. <laughs> Maggie, give me a PJ. What's my culinary background? I went to a very prestigious culinary institute. It's called the CIA Mom. Culinary Institute of American Moms. My mom's kitchen, right? Self-taught home cook. I guess CI Mom would be, C-I-M. Yeah, Roasty. Uh, Trader snack. Joe's has jicama tortillas, so good for a raw taco as well. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried them. I just don't think like they make the best tortilla because they're small and you know kind of crunchy, but it's a good idea. Now I did also hear that Trader Joe's just got some paleo cassava chips in, and people are loving them. So that must have came right after I did my last uh, haul video. Renee Denham says she can't get the Moe salmon delivered. That's oh, a shame. I've heard about that in a, a few areas. Yeah, just click the link down below and see if you can get it delivered. The nice thing about using a farm salmon that's really high quality is, I talked about it earlier, the fat content is so much more than wild salmon, unless you're talking about king salmon, but that's so expensive. Okay. Um, and it's really, really hard to overcook, which makes it nice. Okay, question for you. Yes. And I'm just going to clarify on the question. I want you to answer it yes or no before you say anything else, because I know you likely will say something else. Okay. Potentially. But have you ever, Sarah wants to know if you've ever had baba ganoush. Yes. Do you have your own recipe for it? Uh, yes. Do you call it Bobby Ganoush? I don't, but I should. Okay. Thank you. Just like I says, you should call it Bobby Q sauce. Yeah, I do like a good baba. These are getting nice and saucy. Let's just check this for seasoning. Mm, that's really good. Wow. I think once we mash that, it's going to be lovely. Actually, I can have you mash it for me, Russ. It'd be even lovelier once we fry it again. Yes. Hence, refried beans. Hence the Mitch Hedberg joke. Have you ate the whole piece of salmon roast? I like refried huh? beans. Next time, I'm going to try fried beans because maybe they're just <laughs> a good and we're wasting time. Okay. Right. I think that's it for the slob. I'm getting a little tired, so. You never get tired. I know. Lazy kind of day. We'll keep that as is. We don't need any uh, You ever had sun-dried spinach? Is that such a thing? I read the questions. Sun that's uh, Mr. I've, what I've, is wrong. I've never heard that before. It's a new one. Okay, let's transfer. Does Rose eat sushi? Excuse no, but she eats seaweed wraps. Oh, she loves the sea or seaweed snacks. What do you call it? Snacks? Seaweed yeah, snacks, yeah. The seaweed snacks. That's right, Amy. And, uh, and the extra virgin olive oil, she goes gaga for that. Mitch all together. Okay, Rose. Rest I got a job for you, Shistia. I got a job for you. Linda, that is Kara. Are you Rose's up for it? Nanny extraordinaire. Where's my spoon, Rose? And sometimes camera person. Yeah, Kara did a great job on Friday. When Art uh, couldn't come over. Where's Daddy's wooden spoon? It should be here somewhere, Roast. Maybe I didn't use it yet. The small one? Uh, or the, uh, the big one here. I didn't use it yet. Okay. So let's do this, Roasting. Check it out, Art. See some of the liquid reduced? Check it out, Art. But it's still nice and swassy, which is what you want to see. Yes. Now, Roast, right below you here is Daddy's masher. You're going to help Daddy mash it, okay? This is a rose mashup. Here we go. That's right. It's a rose mashup. Oh, yeah. Well, considering her mother is DJ Desi Dislav, <laughs> live from the BG with love. Yeah, very good point. Rose should have a mashup. Very good point. All right, Rose, you're going to mash my frijoles, okay? So here's what you're going to do. Take this and just push, push, push. Push it real good. Yeah. Push it real good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you showing off at the same time? 
Wow, that's a really good job, Rose. Perfect. Now watch what Daddy This does. is a very ergonomic angle here. <laughs> Not bad in the back at all. See, Rose, look, we're really mashing it up it's here. It's a monster mash. You want to do it again here? Says Abraham. It is that time of year for the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Mm. Yeah, keep going. Mush, mush, mush. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Rose. Isn't that fun? Ro have you seen Rose salt on Instagram stories? I'll hold the pan. Kara, how good is she at salt? She's really good at it. You hold the pan. She dips her. Here, watch. She, she dips her. She uses the sunglasses and she'll be salt bag. Yeah, that's right. Here, Rose, dip your finger into the salt cellar and pinch it in here, please. See? Yeah. One more. Give me some more. Perfect. That's right, Amy. An escalator can never be broken. Isn't that cool? Rose, really, I'm very excited. It can only temporarily become stairs. Smells good. Come in here. Let's get a facial art. Let's get a little facial. That's fine. Baby hey. salt bay. Baby salt. salt. Very fast. All right. This is good. She has more salt for you. Oh, thank you, Russ. Here. A little more salt. Pinch some more salt in here. Mm -hmm. I like this, Rose. Salt. Mm -hmm. I'll take that off your fingers. There. Daddy needs it. Thank you. So just keep going here. A rusty car, right? Well, don't eat the salt, Rose. <laughs> she really likes salt. All right, let's get the fat back in the pan. Right. Not sure how much I'll need. Does but... Bobby eat raw vegan tacos? Collard green leaves for the shell? That's, that's not me. That's not anybody. <laughs> That's not for me. Here you go, sweetheart. Yeah, mush it. Mush it, sweetie. Mush it real good. <laughs> mush it real good. Yeah, you. Yeah, you girl. Do it to it. Do it to it, Roast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're looking at the camera at the same time. I still can't figure out. Look at these noises outside. Down. I can't see. What's that? What's all that noise out there? Uh, it's like a cement oh, cement, cement mixer. I got the light right behind me. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Here, Rust. Sarah Winmuller says, I think Rose looks a little like Johnny. I can see that. I agree 100%. Jackie Adam Spiegel, 24.99. Hi, Flav City fam. Hi, Art. Hi. How are you? We missed you, Bobby. When will the t-shirts be available and the app? Keep Jackie on Mad from Rose. Strong Island. T-shirts are dropping tomorrow, it's my knowledge. I'll have uh, links for you. Men's and women's made in the USA. Very high quality. App. Uh, that's a Desi question. It probably won't happen until next month. There's still a ton of work. That has to be done there. Check this out. All right, looks really nice. What do you guys think? Should I keep going or stop? It's totally your opinion here. I've never made this before, but I'm very happy so far. What do you think? Yeah, Rose is getting so big, Bonita. I think you need a little bit more. A little more? That's just me, but hey, I'm going to keep it open. What do you think, fans. Rose? Here. Keep mashing away, Rose. Gen H in Canada says stop. Okay. Maggie B says stop. I need the Latinos, though. Marianne says stop. Rachel Murray says $15 super chat. Running back to work. Hopefully you'll still be live when I, I thought get you back. were going to Monterey. What, what's going on here? Rachie? Stop. Stop mashing. Stop mashing. Keep going. Stop. Stop. Uh, grape leaves. I have stuffed uh, cabbage leaves for Oktoberfest. Uh, mash some more. I'm getting conflicting reports here, Rose. I'm Don't just going to do a little more. I want to make it like the, they have at Frontera Grill in Chicago. Rick Bayless. That looks pretty good. Okay. Maggie B's even saying stop in Spanish to you. Uh -huh. Oh, gracias, Maggie. Okay. Come back yonder, Arthur T. I got so my Abraham. Uh, I got my duck fat here. We'll put it back in. Now, you guys tell me fat levels. Maggie, so I have, that's a pretty good amount. Is that too much fat? What do you think, Art? Is such a thing? I, I think a good question. I can't imagine that's too much fat. It has to refry and something. Maribel, right? this Latina says definitely stop. Okay, thank you, Maribel. Muchas gracias from this guero. Ooh, the bowl's so hot. So what do I do now? Just cook it for how long, uh, Maribel? The seasoning is really on point. It's very nice. Is Kirkland Organic Evo as good as non-organic? Uh, yeah, you actually want to get the... Uh, Kirkland, 100%. I talked about this. 100% Italian EVOO. That's the one you want. Ray Farrell's in the house. Ray, what's up, Ray? Maybe. Do you have cotija cheese or the equivalent? Negatory. And uh, I have cheddar cheese. The, the met nut? 
$5 super chat. What are your thoughts on lupin flour? I found a pasta called Ganuda made with lupin flour and tapioca flour, and it has three net carbs per serving. Uh, yeah, I haven't used it, but I am a fan. It's a uh, legit low-carb uh, bean flour. It's good stuff. Okay, we're going to start uh, warming the pan. Like I said, if you haven't checked out these ceramic pans and you're in the market, these are the best ones because extra durable ceramic, thick aluminum core, and stainless steel exterior. The cheap ones will not have that kind of durability. This is like an $85 pan, but it's worth it. This stuff is so good and perfect for this kind of uh, application here. So preheat that. That's frying away. So uh, Bonita, what's going on? I'm just going to let this cook for how long? What's the goal here? The goal gonna, is are you going to give it a flop? What's that? At some point? Like, oh yeah, at some it? point I will. At some point I will. Stir the beans. Um, what else? Where are those pans manufactured? Um, it's Zwilling. I'll have to check. Hopefully not China. You sweet pea. Mwah. Yeah. You get a nice little snack here before dinner, right? Let's see here. We've got 1,100 people watching right Very now. Very nice. If you guys Rachel comments. Murray, $5, leaving from Monterey on Friday. After oh. Fridays with Flav. Oh, that'll be nice. Are you going to miss? Are you going to miss the A5? So. After Fridays with Flav. Okay. So just to tease, on Friday at 4 o'clock, Art and I and Betsy and Rose and Kara. Thank you, Kara. Are making this. Well, you're getting some specific instructions on these beans here. Murray oh. Bell says five-minute cooking time on the beans and okay. remove some of that fat. And, and remove it? Remove, remove some of that fat. I thought I was supposed to put it in there. Now I'm gonna stir it in and see what happens. I think it's fine. So we're making those. Art, right, tell people exactly what that is. Wait, 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 what? Tell people what that steak is. Oh, this is uh, Japanese A5 Wagyu. Uh, very, 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 as you can tell, marbled steak. Somebody says it looks like a couple of lungs. I that agree. That is correct. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's more fat than it is lean meat. But it's going to be, I've never had that, that level of steak before. No, so we're going to make that on Friday. Probably a couple From Costco, they had an incredible deal. It's expensive, but compared to how much you can pay, it's an incredible deal. Yeah, but you know what Art said about the cost? It's a write-off. It's a write-off, and he's right. It is a write-off. Maggie Walker, 99 cents with a salt cellar there. What size Instapot do you have? I have the six, but I highly recommend the eight quart. And the eight quart, once again, is on my uh, Amazon shop page. Uh, once again, Art, check it out. In the description box is my Amazon shop page that has all of my cook gear, all of my cookbooks and all that good stuff. Uh, the pre-sale sign-up list for my immune boosting tea is 16,000 strong right now, which means we only have 15,000 on order. It's gonna sell out quick, so sign up. And here's my link to Amazon Fresh for the salmon. This is the kind of salmon you want if you're going to get farm-raised salmon because all that yummy, fatty marbledness there is really, really good. It won't overcook, and it's loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. Hello, Rose. I'd say we did a good job today because Rose has not been cranky at all. Not at all. Not cranky at all. Oh, you did. Swilling pans are made in Germany, saith Arwen. I, that's what I had a feeling. I didn't want to go and vouch for it. But yeah, swilling is really nice. Look at these. Oh, my God. Go to my Costco video from this morning. Layered superfood peely nuts. Kara just had her first one ever. Yeah, they're delicious. Delicious. Crispy butter. It's 15% now just for like a week. Use my link in the video from this morning. Highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. It is delicious. Have some more, Kara. You should do a review right. of Mom's Organic Market. Um, yeah, we don't have that around here. Oh, our this big picker. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? These are hand harvested from the Philippines. They only grow in volcanic soil. And they are only fed by rainwater. Oh, no wow. human intervention, no modern farming. That's great. Yeah. I don't think you can eat that, Rose. Oh. Oh. No, no. Okay. Here. Me. Here. Maybe if I do this. Here. Try that. Mm-hmm. You're a keto paleo baby, so. Okay. Whoa. All right, look at this. Come back here. This looks proper. You guys think this is done, I think. What do you think? Look. That looks lovely. Wow. Any good finishing ideas in there? Like a squeeze of lime juice? What do y'all think? <laughs> if you want it, heroes. You can have it like that. Gen H, yeah. five Canadian dollars for you. I do need to go. We'll finish this video and we'll again watch Friday once I get to my dad's home. Love you all. Please say hello to Desi from me. Much we love. Will. All right, there's so much fat in here. Look, you can make instant peely nut butter with your fingers. Look at that fat coming out of there. <laughs> 
Boom. Crazy. I just made peeling up butter. That's crazy the amount of fat in there. Julio wants you to pour a bottle of Cholula in it. Oh, not a, actually, not a bad idea. Hold on, let me check it for seasoning. Not the big one, this whole one. Oh, yeah. Maggie B says cilantro. Yeah, I don't have cilantro, but oh my God, you guys, first of all, it's really good. Here's what I want to do. A little more salt. Squeeze of lime juice, say yes. Ray. Ray, I'm going to do lime juice right now, and I'm going to do a little dash of brill cream. Sherry <laughs> Kennedy says Kerrygold shredded cheese. Um, cheese would be nice. I actually have the uh, grass-fed uh, raw says cheddar. no lime. No, I, I, lime is a good idea. Oh, Israel little, says tapatio. Check it out. Yeah, I, I don't have tapatio, but I'm going to go for the Siete. Chipotle hot sauce. And where are they based? Is Austin, Texas. Ooh, wherever you know hot sauce in Austin? Let's <laughs> find out. Palaru. Okay. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to have Art do a taste test. In the meantime, let's switch sides, Art. I'm going to put this beautiful. Look at the way the spice rub has gone into the salmon. Some would say it's permeated the salmon. Um, that is very correct. Whoever says that, I would agree wholeheartedly with. I have this going over medium high-ish heat. I'll do this in small batches. It wasn't somebody here. It was just somebody oh. in the world. So I'm sure someone in the world said it. That's one of Art and I's favorite games. Is there someone in the world? Well, like, do you think there's anyone in the world right now eating our keto turkey sandwich with a side of this cracker? While wow, talking about yeah. an A5 steak that we'll cook on Friday. Yeah, yeah. And I always say the odds are pretty high. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. And then Arthur T, you're going to check for saisoning. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I've never made it before, but that looks pretty legit, right? Too legit, Art. Too legit, too legit. Okay, let's flip the script here. Everyone say hello to the one and only Arthur T. The man with a spoon. Perez is really watching you, Art. Check that out. Does it need more salt, acid, or spice? Or is it nice? That's pretty nice. Right? Good level of salt. Um... I wouldn't mind a little bit more acid in there. A little more acid? But doesn't need it. The spice is nice. Okay. I didn't plan to rhyme that, but <laughs> quite delicious. Yeah, let me, let me check it also. And then mm -hmm. uh, good. we'll see what the dealio is here. It's really good. I'm pretty happy. Acid is essential just to bring life to food. I like it the way it is. Yeah, I like good. I said, I'm not going to complain either yeah. way. That's grand. That is grand. Wow, we crushed it. High five to that crowdsourcing recipe. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was good. I'm gonna put the mini oven on warm. Here, Rose, have some more Healy nut butter. Richard Marcotte says, sounds like a game we play at the airline. Is there an airplane flying from city A to city B right now? Always obscure international cities. Nice. I love that. That's a good game. All right, we're in the home <laughs> stretch, y'all. Julio says the worst art could say while tasting is, I got worms. <laughs> That's what we're naming the pet shop. <laughs> Rose is crushing peeling nuts, you guys. Bit Rose, you are the best eater ever. We love you mm -hmm. so much. One more. One more. Can I see sign language? One more. We got to see it, Rosie. Maribel Soto says, well done with the black beans, gringo. Muchas gracias. How about Rosie with a little sign language there? Brian Navarro, does art ever get told he looks like Willem Dafoe? Hmm. So what do, we, what do you think, y'all? Never heard it. Maybe every stream? Jim Carrey, Willem Dafoe, Steve Kerr. All right, come back here for a second. Okay. Uh, where's my little baby tongs? Uh, here we go. Check out the crust on the salmon. It cooks quickly. The crust is a must. It's going to cook quickly. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. And the dynamite goes oh, boom. Kaboom. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Probably the wrong tool for this, but it's okay. Look at that. Blackened. Salmon pieces for our Takis. Ooh. Kara Sonali M says, Kara, you have beautiful hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you. You said cows. thank you. These are awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. Amy hadn't thought of Steve Kerr, but she's laughing yeah. at that. I didn't think about it until her. people said that. Here you go, Rusty. Are you going to be hungry for dinner after this, Rose? Huh? She's always hungry for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make guacamole, but I think I'm just gonna mash some avocado. Let me see if I have. I bought some today, but there should be a ripe one here. There we go, beautiful. Oh, very ripe, wow. Very good. Oh, there's two really ripe ones. I better put it in the fridge. Wait, that's not ripe. I grabbed the wrong one. Nothing bugs me more than like waiting for an avocado to get ripe and then it gets overripe. Linda, no, I'm not. Because we neglected it. 
Okay. You should try pasture-raised chicken from White Oak Pastures. Um, White Oak makes amazing pork, but actually Cook's Venture on Thrive Market makes the best pasture-raised chicken I've ever had. I'm sure White Oak's is good too. Um, they're very expensive at White Oak, but uh, the Thrive Market pasture-raised chicken is literally game-changing. Speaking of game-changing, look at that art. That looks bonita. Que bonita, mija. Wow. We're crushing it, guys. Taco Tuesday. Una Milwaukee Brewer. Grande in Milwaukee mi Brewer. Can you explain how to tell when an avocado is ripe? Um, yeah. So basically, you're never going to get a ripe one at the store. The odds are not in your favor. They're ripe. Oh. Judging by the, by the push test. Well, first of all, look at the skin on this. It's very dark and mature. Um, usually we take the nub out here. There's a little bit of green to it. And that's not always true. All you have to do is feel it. It should be firm, but have a slight give to it. If it's hard, it's not ready. Avocados from Mexico. That's right, I love that song. So yeah, just, just give it a push like that. It usually takes about two, three days at home. Put it next to bananas because the uh, gas that comes out of the banana, the banana farts help ripen it. They could be ready the next day. <laughs> Art has a funny story about guacamole, Art. Tell it. The premiere episode of Flame City that never premiered. <laughs> but may someday, because I still have all the footage, was all about game day guacamole. And uh, Bobby was giving all these pointers, and he was just saying how he can speed up the ripening process and even claimed that if you put it in a bag with a banana, it could be ready the next day. <laughs> it was the cheesiest video. It's going to happen. I don't know. I'm going to edit it, and I'll let you decide when you want to air it, but you will air it. <laughs> it's, it's cringeworthy. It's like... you got to start somewhere, kind of yeah. like Dave Matthews said. Or yes. Boy Tinsley wrapped that part, but yeah. It was cringeworthy. We like went to Whole Foods, <clears throat> and I was like picking up the avocados like this at the store. Like... <laughs> now, what's Toss the it in way? the air, catch it, and walk away. Yeah, what's the best way to get the, the seed off? Like this, right? Not like that. Not like that? Not like, like, that. like this? Not like that. Like, like that. Pay somebody to do it for you unless you do it that <laughs> way. I hear from fans who are ER nurses that avocado in, uh, injuries are the number one food-related injuries at the ER. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Which makes Stay, sense. man. I didn't go to Florida, man. I was here. Art was here hunkering down on the Good home to see base. You, a little bit of salt. Ooh, a little bit of that uh, really good Spanish extra virgin olive oil. Um, I'll have a promo code for you guys. This stuff only costs 12 bucks. I'll have a 15% off promo code on uh, Thursday. Look at this art. This is really high quality, single estate, EVOO, cold pressed within six hours of harvest. Freshness is the most important thing in extra virgin olive oil, as we know. We talked about it in that video. And I can't believe this bottle could easily be $25. It's only uh, $12. And I, I can't believe it's not $25. That's exactly right, Art. Exactly. I can't believe feasting. it's not I like here. I love Spray. it. Let's see how we're doing over yonder. Come back here real quick, Arm. Beautiful. This Kelly is from such Canada a lovely way. Slicing, number one accident. To cook the salmon. I just don't think a lot of people would think to do this, but why not? Get that Moe salmon on Amazon Fresh. Spice crust it with the uh, smoked paprika, turmeric, and ancho chili powder. You're winning life. I'm all about winning life. I like to win together. Man, minimal mess today? That's nice, because the kitchen was clean. Kara was nice enough to do it for me. No, no. <laughs> you think more? She wants more? Yeah. Here, Rose. Have a little bit of avocado. A stickle of avocado? Yeah, have a stickle of avocado de Mexico. Mm. You don't, what if I do this, Rose? What if I do this, Rostina? What if I mash it now with my big Jamie Lannister Kingslayer fork? You know what choice we started watching on Apple TV? Uh, see? It's about like how humankind can't see anymore. I thought it could be interesting, but I'm going to stop watching it. it. wasn't. It's not that good. Unless someone tells me it gets really, really good. It just seems kind of stupid. I'm Sarah, all about Tehran. The new Sarah show Wendell called Tehran. says, if that salmon is from China, no thank you. No, 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 no. I would never. The worst is when you get USA uh, salmon processed in China. This salmon is from Norway. It's the top produced high quality farm raised salmon in open sea pens that are not overcrowded with top quality feed. We talk about this all the time. If you're going to use farm salmon, it's got to be good quality. These guys do it best. It's on uh, Amazon Fresh. 
Use my link down below to check it out. All right, Art Rosie, now. Are you saying more? Do you want more, Rose? A little baby sign language? Here. Now she'll eat it because it's guacamole, right? You won't? You stinker bug. You got daddy. You got me, you little stinker. Okay, this is done. Jackie Adam Spiegel, 49.99, super chat. Hi, Flav City Jack. family. Hi, Art. Welcome back, Bobby. Can't wait for the t-shirts, the app, and please send me a signed cookbook. Mad love. Hi, Rose. Happy Friday. Jackie, you'll be getting a signed cookbook, no doubt. Be one of the first ones, you and uh, Rachie Murray. But everyone, I want to do these signed cookbooks just for you guys. Richard Marcotte also points out that Moe is also Aqu Aquaculture Stewardship Council certified. See? It's very hard certified. to find high-quality farm-raised salmon. These guys do it right. That's why I sponsored. Uh, they sponsored me for this live stream and some stuff earlier in the year. Really, really important. If Even the Norwegian salmon from Costco isn't the best quality. Just because it's from Norway doesn't mean it's going to be good. These guys do it right. Like I said earlier, demand for wild salmon is so high, there's not enough salmon in the world to fill that uh, demand. So you have to have good quality farm raised salmon. The problem is a lot of it's garbage. If it's from Asia or Chile, toxic. Don't eat it in my opinion. All the salmon in the world couldn't even amount. What's that from? Uh, take off of uh, Mariah Carey's money. Ah. Puff Daddy's rapping in the beginning. Okay, let's just finish up this slaw here. A little bit of salt and pepper. Push it, Art. Why does Thomas say that Norwegian salmon is not good? Um, well, because Norwegian salmon could get a bad rap, but the top quality producer, like Moe, is good. It's because there's so much bad salmon out there, it gives it a bad rap. And uh, one of those things is flashing Art. The okay. TX on the one. Oh, my transmitter is going to die. Oh, okay. Actually, I think I was wrapping mace rather than <laughs> Puff Daddy. Yeah, there's just a lot of bad quality farmer salmon, but like I said, if you get the good ones, it's really good. Is it worth me changing my battery or should we just like roll with it? Um, how much I don't more know. time? We probably got like 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I can hold it. And can you? Grab it. Yeah, I'll go. Kara comes through in the clutch again. How about that, Rostine? There we go. Thank you. I think Kara the greatest. Little did Kara know she'd be doing live streams on YouTube, eating all this yummy food, watching over Rostina. Here, can you hold that, Rose, please? What kind of salt do you use? I only use Celtic sea salt. Unrefined salt, like Celtic, or even like Himalayan salt, is the kind of stuff you want to use because it's completely unrefined and rich in minerals. Uh, whereas, like, something like Himalayan salt is not bad. Celtic sea salt from France is loaded with way more minerals that actually reduce blood pressure spikage and add more complexity of flavor to your dish. So that's what you what you want to do. Hey, Rostina. Let's finish off this mayonnaise here. Home stretch in here. We got 1,200 people watching. If for some reason you haven't done so yet, hello, Renee. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're in Sweet Home Chicago making salmon tacos. It's like, what? Who does that? And uh, Thursday, we're going to make something, I don't know, but Friday we're making the uh, Wagyu, the Wagyu steak. Can I borrow that for a second, Rusty? Wagyu, that's, real Wagyu. that's right. This is the uh, Caesar dressing from uh, Costco. I use some of that, and I need another. Uh, here you go, Rustin. I need another mayonnaise. I think it's all the way up there, isn't it? Let me go grab it real quick. This is how much we've outgrown our kitchen. It's like things exploded everywhere now. So let's see. Oh, don't mind my bum in your face. There we go. Thank you. What you got? Now? Yep. Okay, Thanks. Cool. Okay. Good. Get some more mayonnaise here. All right. Arthur T's back. Hopefully my audio is working. CC Mama says, where's Mommy? Mommy's in the uh, bedroom working. <laughs> this is her time to get work done, believe it or not. Okay, let's mix this up. Oh, put a little shot of that really good extra virgin olive oil here from Thank Spain. You. And you know. Casa de Waldo. The color. Really good olive oil. The aroma should blow you away. This is so lovely. Holly, where in Texas is Belton? I'm not familiar with that Let's one. Mix this up here. Give me some general directions. I'm gonna wash my hands and use my hands just to really rough up the kale here. Autumn Star says, Bobby is an acrobat. Now I got a U2 song stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah. 
and Bobby is an acrobat. You gotta be a jack of all trades here. This and act like the cool that. thing about doing the salad or slaw with um, kale and red cabbage is that you can dress it ahead of time. You could rough it up, and it won't get wilty because it's super hearty and farty. And uh, once again, salads like this I like to call colon blow or super colon blow, right, Art? You also like to call them crunchiferous. I do. Crunchiferous is one of my favorite things because they're super high in fiber. Um, Sarah Windmuller is asking Kara, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm a big Italian person. So, chicken parm, mm. pasta, anything with just a bunch of sauce and probably... <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of sauce is the key. Man, I haven't made a chicken parm in ages. Belton, okay. I want to do uh, Austin and Waco. Got I want to do stuffed peppers sometime soon. No, I haven't done that in ages. SNL favorite, Super Colon Blow. Also, have you seen Happy Fun Ball? <laughs> Do not taunt Happy Fun Ball. Keto, um, keto um, stuffed peppers in the cookbook. We'll make that recipe, but we'll add some cauliflower rice to the filling to lighten it up Potty. instead of adding rice. It's a really great move. Okay, a little bit of lime juice in here for some acid. Yeah, we're at 5.30. Wow, we've been going an hour and a half? Crazy. See, when you're hanging out with family, having a good time, time flies. Okay, salmon's done. Slaw's done. Refried bean throws are done here, too. i warm that up a little bit. You know? Holy free holies, Rose. We're winning. Can I get a high five? We're winning life, right? Oh, my gosh. So much fun. Hey, so much fun. Daphne Wright. I'm watching from Chico, California. I just celebrated my 77th birthday. It's never too late to change our eating habits. Thanks so much. Hey, happy 77th birthday to you. Daphne. Daphne. Wow. That's exciting. Uh, Sarah says, Bobby, you should make a keto chicken parmesan recipe. Yeah, not a bad idea. Although I think most chicken parmesan, well, no, it's breaded in flour. So you'd have to bread it in like, uh, we can bread it in coconut flour and or, chicharrones. Yeah, I was going to say chicharrones. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right. That'd be nice. Top, yeah, top with some rayos and some buffalo mozzarella. Mm. Could be really good. Mm. Yeah, I've never made mooncake. I've no. never heard of mooncake. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, let's try these tortillas. We gotta toast a couple. These are Whole Foods version of Siete almond flour. They're just a couple bucks cheaper. I'm just gonna toast them. Rachel Murray, $5 You're super back? chat. I'm back. Oh my T-shirt idea. The slice is nice. Rachie, not a bad idea. Rachie, you're all over the place. How do you get back and forth so quick? The slice is right. <laughs> <laughs> the slice is wrong, Bob. Paula Briseno, 999. Mm, smells good, Rosie. Super chat. Did you guys ever use kettle and fire beef broth for Rose when she was younger, around seven months? Oh, or, yeah. Or did you make it your own for Rose? Sorry, off topic. No, both. When we didn't have homemade, we used kettle and fire. Absolutely. She's been drinking bone broth for a long time. That's one of the keys, I think, to... Oh, yeah. We, I'm sorry. We used our own. Uh, she didn't, because the kettle on fire has, uh, I can see this chimed in, the kettle on fire has uh, spices and onions, and that's not okay until, I think, 12 months. So before 12 months, we only made homemade one for Rose, and we only did bones and vinegar, and that's it. We didn't put any carrots, onions, or celery on it. Deborah wants to know if you ever had Brazilian fish or shrimp stew made with red palm oil and coconut milk. No, but it sounds, that sounds amazing, actually. Red palm oil is the way to do it, right? If you're going to have palm oil. Okay, there's another sauce here I wanted to get out. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's the other Siete one here. It's the Siete. You got 1,200 people watching right now. Nice. Check this out, you guys. This is the Cashew Blanco. This is Siete. Look at that sauce. It's so good. It's made of cashews. Let me show you the ingredients in a second. Look at these ingredients. Are. I mean, it's vegan, but it tastes tangy like... Uh, like cheese. It's so good. Where's the ingredients? Oh, oh, sorry. I gave you the wrong way. Here we go. And then right next to it, I got my Frontera double roasted tomato salsa. It's all about that second roast. Johnny's good. Thank you. His knee's bothering. So I made an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon because he fell in the kitchen. And, oh, uh, that sucks. Hurt his knee. Yeah, How long ago did that happen? Uh, happened like a month ago and then it happened again. So he was hobbling last time I saw him. Oh, so we no. got to uh, go to the doctor. Yeah, get that uh, incense. It's really, really good. And uh, yeah, so it's mostly homemade, a couple uh, store-bought sauces. That's how you roll, right? I'm not going to make salsa from scratch if I don't have the time. Frontera salsa, 
for me is great. It's not organic tomatoes, which is a bummer, but the flavor for the double roasted and the ingredients are clean as can be. EP says, does cabbage need to be washed? Please say no, I get lazy. Uh, cabbage? No, I just uh, get rid of the exterior layer. You don't have to wash it, it's fine. I'm catching up, what's up with the Salmon Amazon Fresh app doesn't link to anything. No, no, that link should link to uh, Amazon Fresh. Uh, I don't know why it's not working on your mobile device, but yeah. It's Moe, uh, Moe Salmon on uh, Amazon Fresh. Stangman says, Siete rocks, my fave. Yeah, bro. Richard Marcotte, Richie. $5 super chat. Time for me to go. Hey, Daphne, my mom lives in Chico, and I grew up in paradise. See nice. you all for Wagyu A5 Friday. Thank you, Richie. Great. Thank you, sir. Great to see you, my man. Great to see you. I'm just warming up these tortillas. Does Johnny consume collagen powder? He does. He does. Michael, he gets the collagen Michael from wants Costco. to know when you're coming to L.A. Um... I don't know. It's been so long since I've been to LA. Too long. Michael P, four ninety nine super chat. Did you try Trader Joe's grain free chips yet? Crunchier than Siete, great flavor, but still no. like Siete more. Uh, no, I have not yet. I've heard great reviews. Um, I will go there and get it because they look great and the price is right. It's cheaper than Siete, right? Pineapple pe pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Uh, for me, no. But you do you. If you want that, it's all good. I'm never going to tell you like, oh, you can't do that. That's crazy. I don't I like do that people. all the time. No, <laughs> I don't like when people do that. It's like, if you want pineapple on your pizza, if you want ketchup on your spaghetti, you do it. Who cares? All right? Just use the best ingredients. That's what I'm about. I do. I tell you. Not Kara, Renee Denham things. says hi. Who does? Renee Denham. Oh, nice. Oh, let's see. Front Thoughts, Kara has Thoughts pork on chili verde at Costco. Pretty clean ingredients. I've seen them. Some of those frozen meals are pretty good, but not perfect. Thoughts on edamame? Um, well, I don't really like to eat soy too much, so it has to be organic. But even that, soy beans are just a bit high in omega-6 fatty acids, so it's not my favorite. You know, I tend to stay away from that stuff. They stopped sell carrying suja shots at Costco. Yeah, isn't that a bummer? But go to Aldi. If my Aldi haul the other day, they're a buck seventy-nine for the turmeric shots. They're fantastic. And once again, the Flav City Immune Tea, 30 uh, day supply will be hopefully launching end of month. Uh, sign up with the pre-sale list down below in the description box. Uh, down there's also my Amazon shop page with the uh, pre-order for the new cookbook, all that good jazz. Sarah Windmuller wants to know if that salsa is mild. Yes. It's medium. No, it is. It, I don't like spicy things. So I could already, already tell that the Whole Foods ones are a little different texture than the um, Siete, but they actually feel pretty good. Favorite celebrity chef? Jamie Oliver. That one's easy. I Jamie like Oliver. I like Emerald. Jamie Oliver followed by uh, Bobby Flay. You're an Emerald guy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's who got me interested in watching. Hey, Joseph Finley in the house. There hey, he yo. is. Hey, yo. Toonses and I are doing grass-fed steak tonight. Going on grill momentarily. Good to see our back. Hey, man. You come in at the Good end. Good to be back with you. Come in at the end, Joseph. Say hi to Laura, please. Make the baked beans, too. Oh, I have a baked beans recipe from uh But when you say hi to her, call her Maddie. Tunes. Say again? I said, but when you say hi to her, call her Tunes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't received any update on it. Because you're only getting an email for the immune powder when it's ready to order. It's not ready for order yet because we don't want to have too much lag time between purchase and shipping. So, yes, if you're on that pre-sale list down below, you will get the first notification of anyone else. When the tea is ready, I believe we'll give you a 24 to 48 hour head start, and then we blast it all over the internet. The first run will sell out, which is great because we ordered 15,000. We have 16,000 people on the waiting list, um, and then we'll just go straight to another. Uh, Your uh, receiver's gonna die. Really? Yeah. Oh, Dios mio. How long we got? It's flashing, wow. so it's not long. Okay. Uh, well, I got time. Where's the batteries? Probably okay. in there. We were foiled. Both Art and I, before we started, we were like, should we change our batteries? So we are going for 88 minutes plus. That's, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. So the goal is to get really great sales on the website. It'll be shopflavecity.com. And then if things go really well, you know, if retailers want to carry it, they can. We're not going to call them. They have to call us, but that'd be kind of fun, right? Let me get this tortilla off. A oh, very minimal mess here. I'm very happy about that. I'm keeping the tortillas warm in a. Uh, that's what I need to get next. One of those tortilleros. Is that what it's called, a tortillero? Oh, it's not your transmitter. It's a receiver. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna have to set this thing now. Okay, hold on a second. 
I'll go. Uh, so, Bobby's got a loud voice. If you if he talks, shouldn't be that hard. You all should still be able to hear him with my mic. Shouldn't be that hard to see. I'll power down his receiver. Yeah. If you want to order it, India men, use the link down below. We need a Flav City word of the day on the calendar. Unfortunately, <laughs> you want to like. Yeah. What do we do? Get the batteries out. Yeah. Hold it like this. That way they can yeah, see sure. you. Okay. Apologies, this is the most exciting part of the live stream when they're changing batteries on the fly. Hey, this is what happens when you're live stream cooking for an uh, hour and a half, right? Ooh, this is the dangerous part. You need a uh, something sharp to get it out? I shouldn't. I can always break a nail. Bobby doesn't, no, don't do that. Bobby does not drink espresso, no. He only drinks Insta Fuel. Give me something not yeah. too sharp. Insta, uh, espresso is a little too strong for me, which is why I like the. Uh, is that okay? Too how sharp? Much is, like, how much like. A spoon here. Okay, sure. One second, let me just flip this towards you. Black coffee makes me a little too jittery. There you go. There we go. Mm hmm. Premier protein drink? No, D. That's trash. Premier protein is really. Read the ingredients, it's horrific. Mm hmm. Are there any vegan meals to look up? I don't have too many vegan meals in that. I like to use a lot of, uh, Bobby talks in the third person like Jimmy. <laughs> Bobby likes pasture raised food. Bobby likes wild caught animals. Bobby Jimmy's been keeping his eye on you. <laughs> La Tortilla Factory Sprouted Organic Wheat Tortillas. Uh, yes, those are great. My favorite is La Tortilla Organic Wheat and Corn Tortillas. They're pliable and soft and delicious. And we're back. Bobby likes good quality food. Yeah, Stang man. EVH, RIP. That's right, Blake. Uh, search Flav City Protein Shake and Flav City Protein Powder. We got reviews about all that. Bobby, have you tried Nitro Cold Brew? Yeah, I can't drink that. It's just way too much caffeine for me. Way too much. That's why I like the Insta Fuel because it's high quality coffee cut with coconut milk, a powder, coconut oil, and the Aquaman and coconut sugar. For me, it's delicious. Mm hmm. Oh, the almond flour from Costco is the best quality and it's the best price in history. Uh, do I like the farm-raised salmon at Costco? No, Michael. Even though it's uh, farm-raised, it's not, in my opinion, super high-quality farm-raised, which is why it's hard for consumers. I'm talking about good quality Norwegian salmon right here, but that doesn't mean that all Norwegian salmon is good. So if I'm not going to buy wild-caught, this is the one I love. Moe, very, very high. Go to their website. It's literally top-quality farm-raised Salmon, farming practices, the feed, all that stuff. If you want to try it out, Amazon Fresh has it almost across the country. Just click the link right there. Order on Amazon Fresh. Let me know how you like it. There's so much fat, it's hard to overcook. And then down there is my Amazon shop page with my cookbook pre-order link and all my kitchen gear and that tea link I was uh, telling you about, that pre-sale list. Okay, I think we can make a plate now. Our tour That's what on. Maggie B wants. What does she want? She wants you to start making the tacos. Yeah, exactly. Art's, Art's, Art's hungry. Hashtag feed art. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're going to do. All right, do you want your refried beans in the taco or on the side? What do you think's better? Maggie. Maggie decides. How about that? Maggie. Maggie B will decide. I am going to say something, and I will say it after she opines. Maggie prediction. B. I have a prediction on what Maggie B is going to say. You decide, Maggie. Okay, she said an emoji. <laughs> Hurry up, Maggie. Art's hungry. Feed me. I'm starving. Oh, she went inside. Well, Ins I was going to say on the side, but I'll go all with right. what Maggie B says. All right, all right, all right. We'll take the refried gringo-style beans. Slop it in there. I heard you boys like them. Extra, Extra sloppy. sloppy. Lady, you're scaring us. A little bit of refried beans. Art, do you like... Uh, Sarah Windmuller. Art, do you like and have you tried Cotija cheese? I have tried it, and I like it. Now, Art, what I'm going to do, I just don't think the skin is necessary for a taco, so it just peels right you off. You fooled like me. That. I thought you were going to, like, mash up the tacos. Do what? I thought you were going to be mashing up the tacos. That's uh, uh, Mashing up the salmon, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah the salmon. Yeah, I, I am. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to break it up a little hey, bit. Oh, okay. See, it's so fatty and soft. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give Art a little bit. Oh, Rose, look at this taco I'm making for Uncle Fart. A little bit of salsa. Salsa. Seltzer. Imagine trying to order seltzer. I'm saying salsa. A little bit 
of that vegan cheese sauce. Uh, T or uh, Julio says sheep feta cheese would do great. With yeah, tacos. no, totally. I just don't have any of that. All I have is uh, the raw grass-fed cheese. And a little bit of. What about the slaw? Are you gonna put any slaw in the top? I think to be honest, I wouldn't do that with this one. There's just so much stuff going on. But it's Arch Taco, and I get the feeling he wants it just a little bit on top. Sure, why not? And any other topping? I think that's it. There it is, you guys. Salmon tacos. What about the queso? You got the queso good. With refried beans, guacamole, and slaw. All right, here he is. The one and only Arthur T. Alma C. for hashtag feed art. You cook it, he eats it. <laughs> oh, Rose, can we see that beautiful pun? Are you ready for dinner, Rose? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tracy so, David, $5 holler saying. Thank you, Tracy. Mike drop. Thank you, Tracy. Mike drop. It's also a podcast. I like it. Okay, this is good. This looks really good. I haven't seen any uh, Super Chats, Jackie, recently, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Wow. It's going to be messy, I can tell. That's okay. But it's going to be good. But because of that uh, refried beans at the bottom, it's good. I'm not a huge fan of kombucha, but you got to find one that has low sugar, like uh, Health Aid. That's good. Thank you, Carrie. That's not good. That's exactly where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> Moving it away is good. That's good. Wow. We got delicious salmon flavor that comes through, even despite being seasoned with a uh, great assortment of mm -hmm. taco seasoning. And uh, the avocado is a great complement to it. Fatty and rich, just like the salmon. So yep. comedy, I think it's good with the slaw in there, but you do you. You don't want the slaw in there. Keep it on the plate. Exactly right. Free fried beans are the win. Uh, well said. Delicious. And everything turned out really, really nicely. I'm super happy. Rose is putting the final touches on my little slaw there. Right, Rosie? How's it look, Rose? All good? Good? Yes! Yeah, like an Uncle mm -hmm. Farturo's. Yummy taco there. Very so good, uh, that's it, you guys. I implore you, if you're going to make this, try really good quality farm salmon. If you're going to you have salmon, <laughs> Moe, Rosie, makes the good stuff. Link is below the video right here. Amazon Fresh, delivered to your house. You don't have to worry about it. It's good quality, and it's very, very fatty, so you're not going to overcook it. Um, we'll see you on Thursday. Thursday, I have no idea what we're making, but I'll have the promo code for the uh, extra virgin olive oil from, Sp from Spain. Friday, Art and I are making the A5 Wagyu Japanese Costco steaks. It's going to be amazing. So set your alarm for 4 o'clock on Thursday, 4 o'clock on Friday. We're back and better than ever. Uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, share, uh, all that great stuff. But uh, for Desi, who's been working the whole time, hey, Rose, in the, uh, bat, in the bedroom, for Kara with a C. For Roasty, my love, for Arthur T. Alma C. Not the first, not the second, the third. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. That was fun. Bye-bye. Super, super tasty.